Hello everyone. In this part of steady state analysis of closed loop systems, we will deal with the steady state tracking or steady state error. So basically we want to see what happens to the steady state values of the error for a specific reference like R of t. For this we just uh, define or consider three standard polynomial signals. All of them are in this form, so R of t, the reference signal, is in the form of t to the power of k over k factorial times step of t. And step of t over here is uh, is this waveform in it. So we have step of t over time, it's equal to 0 before t equal to 0. And then it jumps to one. This is unit step. Okay. We will consider three main cases. The first signal that we are going to consider is called step itself. It happens when we set k equal to zero. So if we set k equal to zero for r of t, we will get t to the power of 0 over 0 factorial times step of t and this will give us step of t so this is indeed the unity step okay and you can see it here in the time domain it will be equal to 1 for t bigger than or equal to 0 and in the laplace domain we can represent it by 1 over s so this is 1 over s then we can increase k to 1. If we set k to 1, r of t will be equal to t to the power of 1 over 1 factorial times step of t. And it will be equal to t times step of t, which is equal to t for, for t bigger than or equal to 0. And it's 0 for t is smaller than 0. So basically that's the ramp function. You can see how it looks like in the time domain. We represent it by t. And the Laplace domain, let's say expression for that, is equal to 1 over s squared. So we have 1 over s squared for the ramp function. And the third one that we are going to consider is when k is equal to 2, r of t will be equal to t squared over 2 factorial times step of t. And it will be equal to 1 over 2 t squared times step of t. So for t bigger than or equal to 0, we will have 1 over t, 1 over 2 t squared, and we will have 0 for t smaller than 0. This is the definition that we have for the parabola function. In the time domain, we will represent it by 1 over, 1 over 2 times t squared, and in the Laplace domain, it will be represented by 1 over s to the power of 3. And you can see how it looks like in terms of the graph. So r of t here is a parabola. So before moving forward, in terms of physical interpretation, for the step we say that we assume that we have the constant position, for ramp we have constant velocity, and for the parabola we have constant acceleration. This will become uh, clearer later when we uh, deep more into analysis of the systems but for now just keep in mind that we have the physical interpretation for this system for the signals as well now let's uh, define the steady state error and for the moment we assume that we don't have any disturbances affecting the system as a result the steady state error that we have for the system and we refer to it as the limit of e of t as t goes towards infinity sometimes i also refer to it as e underscore ss steady state and it could be obtained by finding the 
limit of s times e of s as s scores towards zero. So this is the this is something that you should know from previous indeed courses. Then we can replace e with its equivalent. So e is equal to s of s times r of s. And you can find this relation by referring to the sensitivity functions definitions that we had in the previous lectures. And if we replace s and r by their equivalent, equivalent values, we will get limit of s times s of s times r of s given in this form. So r of s will be s of s, the sensitivity function, is replaced by 1 over 1 plus l of s, and r of s is replaced by 1 over s to the power of k plus 1. So if you check here again, when we have k equal to 2, r is equal to 1 in the time in the Laplace domain, it's represented by 1 over s to the power of 3. When k is equal to 1, we have s to the power of 2. And when k is equal to 0, we have s to the power of 1. So basically, in general, the representation in the Laplace domain for the r of s will be 1 over s to the power of k plus 1. And that's what we have here. Okay, then if we simplify it further, we will have the steady state error being equal to this limit. Limit of 1 over 1 plus L of S times 1 over S to the power of K. Then for L of S, we can assume a generic form where we have taken the pose which happened at the origin of the S plane out at the denominator indeed we, we have done it and we have ended up with this representation form so l of s is represented at l tilde over s to the power of h we assume that there are h number of poles at the origin h poles at origin and this is for l of s and then we have all the first order and second order zeros and first order and second order poles represented in this form. The nice thing about this representation is that for L of S, when S goes towards zero, all the terms that we have for the first order and second order poles and zeros, they could be replaced by one. So the whole L of S when s goes towards 0 could be replaced by l tilde over s to the power of h and this makes the the uh, later calculations much easier for us so we will have l of s replaced by l tilde over h s to the power of h and if we do so if we replace it in the equation that we just have over here the limit of e of t as t goes towards infinity could be shown as limit of s to the power of h over l tilde plus s to the power of h times 1 over s to the power of k and we are going to use this equation for our analysis in the next slides all right so let's start by type zero systems here we define the type. We, a system is called of is called a type zero system when it has no integrators or no poles at the origin. So for type zero system, we have no poles at the origin. In other words, h is equal to zero. When h is equal to 0, when h is equal to 0, then for our steady state error, limit of e of t as t goes towards infinity, and we have it over here, if we replace h with 0, 
s to the power of 0 will be equal to 1 and therefore we will have we will have limit of 1 over 1 plus l tilde times 1 over s to the power of k and we can consider different cases for k we can start by k equal to 0 when k is equal to 0 we are talking about the step function and if I replace k with 0 here as well we will have s will go towards 0 then this will become equal to 1 as well and as a result the steady state error will be obtained as 1 over 1 plus l tilde so 1 over 1 plus l tilde will be the steady state error when we have the step function as the input and we have a type 0 system Then for this system, we just define a new term, which is kp, as the limit of l of s as s goes towards 0, and that's indeed l tilde for us. And we call it position error constant, because it is related to the finite steady state error that a position control of a mechanical system would have for a constant position reference. So constant position reference is indeed the step function that we are using. So we define kp as limit of l of s as s goes towards 0. And basically this is equal to l tilde. In other terms, we can say that steady state error will be equal to 1 over 1 plus kp okay so this is also important to consider 1 over 1 plus kp this is for for the case when we have the type 0 system and the step function as the input on the other hand if we now for the same type of system uh, consider the next inputs where k is equal to 1 or k is equal to 2 we will have this case So we have the limit shown here again. We have h equal to 0. So this will be 1 and this will be equal to 1. And now if I rewrite the limit, we will have limit of s going towards 0, 1 over 1 plus l tilde times s to the power of k. For k equal to 1 or 2 or more this will result in infinity because we will have a 0 at the denominator and as a result we can say that steady state error will be equal to infinity for ramp and parabola inputs for type 0 systems we can also say that type 0 system can track constant references with a finite steady state error which is equal to 1 over 1 plus kp but it cannot track higher order references which are ramp parabola or even higher so in those cases the steady state error will be equal to infinity so this is what we have for the type 0 systems then we can continue with type 1 systems. In the case of type 1 systems, they have one pole at the origin. H is equal to 1. They have one integrator in other terms. And now we can check it for the cases when k is equal to 0, k is equal to 1, or k is equal to 2 separately. When h is equal to 1 and k is equal to 0, the limit that we have, and it is shown again here, will result in 0. Because h is equal to 1 and k is equal to 0. So we will have limit of s going towards 0, s to the, s to the power of 1, which is s over l tilde plus s. 
times 1 over s to the power of 0, which is 1. And as s goes towards 0, this will give us 0. So a type 1 system will track a step function input perfectly. The steady state error will be equal to 0. But then the same system, when we have a reference in the form of a ramp, meaning that k is equal to 1, will give us a steady state error, which is equal to 1 over L tilde. So there will be a finite steady state error, which is 1 over L tilde. And this is obtained by replacing H with 1 and K with 1. If we do so, we will have the limit of S going towards 0, S over L tilde plus S times 1 over S. As s goes towards 0, if we simplify it, we will have 1 over l tilde, a finite value for the error. In the case of having a type 1 system and a unit ramp as the reference. For this type of system, we define a new term, which is kv, and it's called the velocity error constant. Velocity error constant, kv, is defined as limit of s times l of s as s goes toward 0. And again, keep in mind that for our l of s, we have a pole at the origin. So that pole at the origin will be cancelled out with this s that we have over here. And then we will get the velocity error constant, l tilde. And the steady state error could be also written in the form of 1 over kv okay for the type 1 systems now if we consider the case where we have k is k equal to 2 or a parabola signal as a reference we have h equal to 1 k equal to 2 if we replace them over here h with 1 1 and k with 2, the steady state error that we get will be equal to infinity. So we can say that for a type 1 system, we can track constant references with a zero steady state error. For the ramp references, there will be a finite steady state error, which is equal to 1 over L tilde or 1 over kV. And for a higher order reference signal, the steady state error will be equal to infinity. So the system cannot basically track it. Now we have a type 2 system. For the type 2 systems, h is equal to 2. We have two integrators or two poles at the origin. For different reference inputs, when we have step input or parabola input we can see what happens to the steady state error in both of these cases the steady state error will be equal to for uh, let let me just correct this not for parabola when we have the step and the ramp okay when k is equal to 0 and k is equal to 1 we can find out the steady state error et will be equal to 0. You, you just replace h with 2. We have a type 2 system and k with 0 or 1. In both cases, the steady state error that you get will be equal to 0. But when we have a parabola as the reference input, k will be replaced by 2. So we will have 2, 2 and 2 here. And therefore, the steady state error that we get will be equal to 1 over L tilde, some finite value. So steady state error for type 2 systems, when we have parabola as the reference input is equal to 1 over L tilde. And then we define the error constant, acceleration error constant Ka, as the limit of S going towards 0, S squared times L of S which is indeed the uh, L tilde. So Ka, the acceleration error constant, is defined as limit of S squared times L of S as S goes towards zero. 
And we can say that the steady state error will be also equal to 1 over Ka. Ka is the acceleration error constant. If we have k bigger than 2 for higher order inputs, error will grow with without any bands indeed. So steady state error will be equal to infinity. And we can conclude that a type 2 system can track constant and RAM preferences without error, so with a zero steady state error, and a parabolic reference with a finite steady state error which is equal to 1 over Ka or 1 over L tilde. We can summarize the steady state error for the closed loop systems by in this table by stating that we have different types for the inputs which are in the form of step, ramp, and parabola. So we have k equal to 0, 1, and 2. So each column is indeed considered for one of the input types. Then for each row we have the type 0 system, type 1 system, and type 2 systems. So for type 0 system you can see that for the step reference as the input we have 1 or 1 plus kp for the error and for ramp and parabola we have infinity then for type 1 system we have zero steady state for the step 1 over kv for the ramp and infinity for the parabola and finally for the type 2 system the steady state error is equal to zero for the step and ramp inputs and it's equal to 1 over ka for the parabola input so you can just keep in mind that we have this table as a summary of the steady state error for different types of inputs and different types of the systems something which is quite important to keep in mind is that the type of the system whether it is type 0, type 1, type 2, and so on and so forth, is defined by looking at L of S, the loop transfer function. You look at the loop transfer function, not at the T of S or S of S. So we refer to the open loop transfer function of the system in order to define the type of the system, whether type 0, 1, 2, and so on and so forth. And then based on that, we comment on the steady state error of the closed loop system. So all these steady state errors that we see here are the errors for the closed loop system. By looking at the type of the system which comes from the open loop system. Alright, so that's all for this lecture. In the next video lectures, we will go through some examples to to also have some let's say numerical examples as well thank you for watching this video